Even though AI is a bubble, it's safe to say that most of us have grown attached to our LLMs. Instead of googling stuff, most of us would much rather have ChatGPT regurgitate the same information back to us. But because your therapist is hosted in the cloud, it only takes one junior dev at Cloudflare to ruin your day. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. So in this video, we're going to be running our LLM locally on your phone. That way, you can chat with your LLM without an internet connection and you don't have to worry about OpenAI or these guys listening in on your conversations. Let's go. We're going to be using Android to demonstrate how to do this, but it works on iOS too. You just need to replace the Google Play Store with the Apple App Store and we're good to go. The first thing you need to do is go to the Google Play Store and search for and download Pocket Pearl AI. Pocket Pearl is basically ChatGPT but in your pocket, offline and without the NSA seeing your late night texts. Once it is downloaded, you simply need to open it and you'll see this interface here. You have your chats, pearls, models and benchmarks here. We're going to click on models and in here, you will see that we have a bunch of models available. Since we're going to be running this one on our own compute and not OpenAI's compute, we are going to need to pick the model we use very carefully. I'll start with small VLM. This is a very lightweight model with only 5 million parameters, but it has something that the others lack, the ability to see. Yeah, the other models here are text-based, but despite being small, this one is multi-model, meaning you can show it pictures of your cats if you need to. To upload images, you simply click here and upload your image. But for now, let's just say, hi, how are you? What is your name? To scientifically quantify how smart a model is, I like to ask it two questions. First, who's the current UFC president? Second, who's the current USA president? It's safe to say that Mark here won't be bringing home any trophies, except maybe participation awards. The only good thing I can say about Mark is that he's fast, he's multimodal, he's confident, and he's wrong. To try to push this thing to the max, I tried to download the most expensive model here, Llama 3.2. I then tried to have it code a game for me using Python and the Pygame library. This is what it came up with, so not too bad. This one actually passed my two question test and produced this game, so it might be good enough to replace basic models like ChatGPT 3.5 in my opinion. Before I forget, for those of you who love role playing, there's a Pels tab here. Basically, this allows you to fine tune the model to allow it to role play as anything you want. You get to decide on a name, description, role, world, location, tone, model, etc. For fun's sake, try to have it roleplay Sansa Stark from Game of Thrones and try to make it make you the king in the north. Or have it roleplay someone from Attack on Titan. I'm just going to make it my therapist and see if my mental health gets better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.